TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for this Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. Eastern Time update. Dow's down 300 points with 290 at 32,569 after making an all time high yesterday of 33,227. That's quite a big pullback, 700 points from the high yesterday. So, what we are looking at is at this particular point, the Dow is still the strongest uh, index in terms of technicals. It is leg D in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly. And C says it should still go in the chap wave to a peak D sometime in 2021. We're looking at the S&P. So the Dow is down 0.8%. Oops, I typed in the wrong place. The S&P right now is down 15. It is trading. There it is. Um, down 16 at 38.98. Made an all-time high of 39. I had that typed in. Let me just check where it is. There are 39.83. And that was at uh, that was on the 17th, just uh, three days ago. This is a big pullback, and it's under the 14 period moving average. And I'm going to have to uh, check out to see whether I can have to call this an alternate count. Uh, is there enough room to go next week to slightly higher highs in the down the S&P? It's going to be a big question. IWM. IWM is down 72 cents at 224.46 after the 234 high. So that is a 10 point decline. It's a big, uh, big decline in just uh, four or five days. And the QQQ, which has been really lagging badly, is making the arch formation, is down only 73 cents at 311.26. A chunk of the selling pressure has been done. So now we're seeing this rotation. The Dow is playing catch up to the downside. Gold. At this particular point, gold is up to at 17.34, stuck in this range, holding quite nicely. Silver is also um, in this trading bands down 19 cents, just stuck on this uh, nine period exponential moving average at 26.16. What's really important here is that the dollar's finding strength again. It is up 24 ticks at 92.07. I'll talk about this in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. We've been long in my opening called uh, daily subscription uh, newsletter uh, since. April of 2018, around about 90.07, and it went all the way to just about 103, pulled back sharply to 89, and now it is trading at 92. This is a much better action that we're looking at, but it's still just in a consolidation. Crude oil had a really sharp decline yesterday. Today's holding our case down 48 cents, but it's so weak and unaffected. That's it.